Hello guys, it just is here with a new video. Uh, so a couple of days ago, I was trying to buy a level four Enlighten. As you can see, right, level four Enlighten, the trade site, and I messaged this guy, Commodore two two eight, in game. This guy is um, what do you call them? Scammers. Yep, they are. Toxic rain, zxz zxz. Uh, this is his in-game name, right? Uh, I'm, I'm making a comment on his nickname. ZXC, ZXC is uh, Shadow Fiends. Uh, it's a long story, but yeah. As you saw, it was a level 3 night. Uh, second guy. Uh, hey, hello Bro222, in-game name. Hachu Valutu, which translates from Russian as I want currency, and he's probably making a shit on the currency, right? Also, Enlightened 3. Um, now, uh, later in this clip, you can see me writing some nasty stuff to those people, but uh, that was, uh, I just hold, uh, lost hold of myself, right? I get pretty angry when I encounter those kind of individuals. Um... I've been scammed before in PoE. I uh, not really big time, but like I was buying a four exalt, or like a three exalt foil when I was just starting playing. Right, it was my first build ever, consecrated path chieftain. Now and, and I was buying a three exalt foil, and one one guy just gave me uh, you know one alch foil. And some some other times, right? Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, scamming is a uh, it's just the way people work, right? People want to take advantage of other people, and they will try to do that. But it is in, in like all those scams that I encountered and experienced are my my uh, what do you call it responsibility because I didn't take take my time checking i was uh, i was either like worried or it, it was a big trade for me you know i was i was i was taking the lower ground which in fact i am as much as much as much a part of that transaction as the other guy you know and you you guys as well i'm making this video to address uh, all the new people who will who will see it and you know most of you unfortunately probably had been <clears throat> scam before right and in poe we have a very easy way to avoid it it's not a very easy but check what you're being offered right in the exchange window take your time for example this guy more order <laughs> take your time uh either it takes two minutes or you know take it read it however long you need if the other guy is like you know what it take what's taking so long and he's like uh, or they're you know irritated and or anything you just make a new trade right trade leak is beautiful for that there's there's not a lot of instances where you know you cannot get a similar item so this that's one and second um if you're doing a big trade and you're planning to do like uh series of big trades you should always check your uh trade what do you call it partner what i mean the, uh, the person you're trading with through blacklist here you can search for for example commoner 228 uh no it's just wait right and you can see I, I blacklisted that guy. He's been blacklist, blacklisted before. But of course you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't search for every person for every trade, right? And for those for those reasons, uh, TFT, these these people, these guys are amazing. They have a a a program, right? A macro which will ding if you if you are trading with a with a with not a trustworthy person. I'm not sure how it's called, but yeah, you can research on that. And yeah, guys, take your time. Take your time when being, when being uh, traded with. 
check everything, calculate everything, you know. Think what you do. Don't do. Don't do what I did. And yeah, that's pretty. pretty uh, that's that's it from me. Uh, that's what I want to say. Uh, I just encountered that and was pretty upset. Don't be. It's just a way of life, and you can prevent it by being smarter than I am. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and stay safe. Bye bye.